Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Southern California. Hanging out in the garage with Hercules, the 150 pound uh, Newfoundland, sitting over there in the corner behaving. Hopefully I can get through this video uh, without uh, him bothering me too much. So anyway, I wanted to do something a bit fun today. Um, I wanted to do an everyday carry or an EDC pocket dump. There's a lot of other people out there on YouTube do these uh, pocket dumps and I find them interested and see what people are carrying every day. So anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do one myself. So when you're done here, uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you uh, EDC. Be kind of fun for some of us to learn other things that you might carry that uh, differ from ours. So anyway, first off, I want to let you know this isn't staged. Um, it's what I uh, actually carry seven days a week. Uh, the only time I'm not carrying all this stuff is either when I'm in bed or if I'm on travel that will limit uh, what, I'm, what I'm able to carry. Um, but anyway, it's all, um, it's all real stuff I carry. I don't really carry anything that I don't use. Um, I have bought into a couple little hype things in the past and found out that I don't use those often, so I've dumped those. So again, I'm only interested in carrying things that I actually uh, think I will use, uh, self-defense, or use every day um, in real life or on my uh, on my travel so I limit it to just the things I think are 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 practical they may not be practical to everybody maybe a lot of stuff but anyway it's things that I've either used or believe that I'm, I'm gonna need sometime in the future so anyway so here we go so first off pull this out okay this is my uh, 9mm M&P shield um, each of the round, uh, the mags I carry have got two round mag extensions in them. Um, the only other modification I have done to this um, is the hoe grip. Um, since it's my daily carry, uh, I don't think it's prudent to do any crazy modifications in the unlikely event that I have to fire this or use it. I don't want to do any modifications that are going to look like, um, you know, I'm hunting people or anything that I think would get me into trouble. So. Anyway, other than the mag extensions and uh, the grip, um, I haven't done anything. No trigger work. I haven't upgraded the sights. You know, I just want to keep as stock as possible. Um, I do like the hoe grip and the mag extensions. Um, I think that's um, those are prudent. So um, I carry an extra magazine. Also has the extension. I carry uh, eight rounds in each magazine. This is seven plus one of the chamber right now, so I'm not going to pull this out of the holster. Um, so let's move on. Um, so one thing I want to state is because this is my, my daily carry, um, I take it apart weekly, clean it, oil it. Um, it does get quite a bit of lint built up in it, in the holster since it's, um, uh, inside the waistband carry. And so does the spare mag. You know, the spare mag gets a lot of lint, uh, inside the magazine since it's in my left pocket all the time. So you know, pull it all apart, pull the rounds out, you know, use a compressor, blow all the lint out and uh, make sure it's in, in good functioning order. Exercise the spring. Um, make sure that it is, um, it's all good in, you know, in case I ever have to use it. So, um, moving on. So, like everybody, everybody has to carry a phone. So, uh, my phone here is a Samsung Galaxy S7. It's got a really cool tactical Magpul case on it. You won't be able to see it on the video here, but there's a really cool faint image of Doug Mercaya carrying a, a kukri style knife on there. Um, big Forge and Fire fan, and Doug Mercaya. So anyway, get a chance to check out that program. Um, so next, what do I carry? So Benchmade uh, Griptilian knife. Beautiful knife. I. Um, I did a review on this a while ago. My son got it for me as a present, replaced um, an old a Schrade knife I was carrying. So this folding knife is uh, overall about eight inches in length. It's got a three and a half inch blade. Um, again, check out my review I did a while ago on that. Um, it really is um, a wonderful knife. I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, sharpened it already several times, use it daily. But just opening boxes, you know packages and things like that. Um, I think it's great for self-defense uh, also. Um, very very good quality knife. Very happy with it. Next, everybody has to carry a pen. So that's a, a Boker tactical pen. 
again, great pen. Um, it takes some standard refills. I've had to refill it, you know, multiple times. I use that pen, you know, a dozen times or more a day. Um, it's got a glass breaker built in here. This is also real good for defense. If you had to give somebody a sharp jab with that, I'm sure it would work great. Um, it's worn down pretty well, being in my pocket for, for many, many years. But um, anyway, and like I said, I have refilled it um, several times. Uh, great pen, great uh, everyday carry item. So next, we've got a Streamlight Micro Beam Flashlight. This thing's about three and a half inches in length. Also carried this thing for a real long time. Well, I carried this model uh, quite often. So I do have quite a few more of these that are in my, uh, in my drawer out in my garage because I, I seem to lose one about every six months or so. So, you know, people have probably picked them up and found themselves a real nice present. Um, but I found these become more and more important um, the older you get and as your eye starts, eyesight starts to go. So anyway, I'm really pleased with that uh, Streamlight flashlight. Um, another good item. So next, a simple old black Sharpie pen. Um, I almost use, um, I use this thing just about every day also. So um, keep that thing in my pocket. I uh, shaved off the clip on here. No need for that because it just sits inside uh, my pants pocket. Um, what I also have, I got a little cloth bag and the little cloth bag um, contains my Bluetooth wireless earbuds. Um, it's great because the bag stops them from getting all nasty. Stuff I'm gonna put in my ears. So, because um, you have to talk on the phone and because I live in, uh, in uh, California, you know, God forbid you're holding your phone uh, while you're talking on it. So anyway, uh, let's see, moving on. Uh, we're getting down towards the end here. So what do I have? I have a, uh, a Ridge um, card wallet. Kind of a new addition. I haven't had it uh, too long, um, but I uh, thought it was time to upgrade this. Um, for years, I've been using actually one of my daughter's ponytail bands around my cards and cash. Um, but that looked pretty hokey. And although it functioned uh, properly, uh, my wife uh, decided that that had to go. So anyway, I added this a while ago. Um, so far, I'm pleased with it. Um, you know, I don't know how much you can say about it. Um, it does its job, holds cash and business cards over here, um, holds a wallet, uh, holds the cards. You can push this, the cards out. Um, it is RFID blocking, so that's a plus. Um, so, what else? Getting down to the end of it now. Oh, on my left wrist here, I am carrying the, um, the same watch I've been wearing for about 20 years. Uh, it's a Citizen uh, Eco Drive, um, and it really has not given me a bit of problem um, in 20 years. So it's scratched up a bit, but uh, tells time. I'm pleased with it. So that's the watch. Uh, what else? Oh, my right wrist. My right wrist. What I, you know, I've got this um, small paracord bracelet. Um, you know, paracord is good for many, many. Uh, purposes too many to list but uh, I also want to uh, tell you if you guys carry some of this paracord in a bracelet form or um, you know a keychain or something like that get an extra one and learn how to unravel this thing and take it apart uh, properly and quickly because there is a way to take it apart and if you've got to use it in the short term you're really going to want to know how to take that that stuff apart so anyway I encourage you to uh, to to you know, buy another one, they're cheap, take it apart. So anyway, uh, keys, everybody has to have keys. Keys, um, you know, I've also got a bit of paracord on the end here. Um, was practice making a couple of these, these paracord uh, tabs and grabs. One of my good friends uh, showed me how to make these. So um, had fun making, making a few of these. Um, it does have a couple of small little multi-tools on here. One of them is actually a fold-out uh, little pair of pliers and a screwdriver. The other one's in a, in a key configuration that uh, has a couple screwdrivers, a little cutting edge, a um, little pick in there. So anyway, I've also had those for about 20 years, um, and they've, they've really come in handy now and then. So anyway, 
happy with those. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, lastly, lastly, my reading glasses. So, set of reading glasses. My wife was really kind and got me a nice pair of Oakley matte black reading glasses. So, I'm really trying hard not to lose these. Got a really nice hard case for them that uh, fit inside my, uh, my pants pocket. Um, make sure I put a business card inside there. So uh, if I'm forgetful and I leave them behind somewhere, I get my very nice Oakley reading glasses back. So I guess that's really about it for my EDC uh, pocket dump. Um, again, as always, you know, thanks for taking the time to watch this and, and don't forget to like or dislike and subscribe. And please, um, you know, if you can, when you're done, tell me what, uh, what you carry. I'd like to see a list of it. See if there's anything, you know, different, stuff we can learn from it. So, again, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and, and again, um, I really uh, thank you for, uh, for watching. Have a good day.